In this video, we're going to address the question of whether or not your insurance rates go up if you're involved in a minor fender bender. My name is Matt Eason. I've been practicing personal injury law here in California for over 25 years, and I'm regularly asked by clients if their insurance rates are going to go up because they are involved in a fender bender accident. The real question isn't so much that it was a fender bender. The bigger questions are two. One, was the driver more than 50% at fault? And two, what law was being violated at the time the accident occurred. Understanding your insurance rates in California is really about understanding that we are typically under a point-based system. Generally speaking, under California law, you were only charged a point if you were more than 50% at fault for an accident. So if you were involved in a fender bender that was not your fault or was primarily someone else's fault, you should not have any additional points added on your record, and as such, your rate should not go up. If you were, in fact, more than 50% at fault, then you're likely to have a point attributed to your record. The number of points, though, is what's significant. If you had a basic lapse in judgment, weren't paying attention, fender bender in the parking lot, rear-ended someone on a freeway, some basic traffic offense, then those are traditionally one point and have a corresponding rate increase. Unfortunately, if you were involved in a more significant incident and broke a law such as drunk driving, reckless evading, hit and run, those usually are two-point offenses, and yes, your insurance rates will likely go up considerably. In addition to determining fault and determining what law was violated, if a fender bender results in less than $1,000 of property damage and no one was hurt, that incident does not have to be reported to the DMV, and thus no points are awarded. Under California law, if in fact you had a lapse in concentration and you caused more than $1,000 in property damage, that was your fault, then yes, your rates are likely to go up or could go up depending on your carrier based on having a point being awarded. Some insurance companies do, however, have grace provisions for your first offense or your first point as it may be. In summary, over your lifetime, it's expected you're going to have a lapse in judgment at some point in time. We all do. However, just because you have a lapse in judgment doesn't mean that your insurance rates are going to go over the top. Likewise, even if you do wind up with a point on your record, most insurance companies have discounts or have waivers for your first point, so don't panic. It should be okay. In short, it's not so much that it was a fender bender, but rather, was there more than $1,000 in damage? Who caused the accident? What law was violated will dictate how many points are on your record and consequently how much of an insurance increase you'll have, if any. My name again is Matt Eason. I've been practicing personal injury law here in Sacramento for over 25 years. If you've been involved in a car accident and you have questions about insurance or your claims, I hope you'll consider reaching out to us. Our law firm is Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819. And you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.